Today is a Sunday and it's time to relax and it's time to reminisce as well because what I've got for you is two videos for the price of one <laughs> and it's Riverdance and the reason I'm laughing is because everybody forgets about Riverdance everybody is used to watching YouTube videos and it's all the same but I thought being inspired by two previous videos I've watched to this and I've chosen this third one I decided let's see the Chinese inspired version and where did the inspiration come from I'll give you a bow on that in a minute the second video will follow shortly after and it's a video an animated video of what we're all used to the music and the original Riverdance done in an animated way and trust me it's absolutely phenomenal to watch it's only two minutes long and I'll give you a little bit of bio about the Netflix animated series that I've taken that video from called Riverdance as well so you're getting the Chinese version then you're going to get an animated version with the original music but done in a very childlike way and even as a grown man I've got a little boy inside me that just goes and when I watched it I said I will add that on to this video I'll combine the two and give you double pleasure today in the form of Riverdance we all know what Riverdance is what it became for Michael Flaherty the dancer the creator the creators as well but we don't know much about what inspired the Chinese to do an Asian version of it and it is spectacular to watch and I just have to say the symmetry in the dance the way they are will inspire you today it lifts your moods just to watch it now I need to be quiet as I say but I'm bringing up my notes because that's what it's all about as well the river dance the 22 year old well it's more than 22 year old now whew, uh, international phenomenon credited with sexing up Irish dancing is about as you're going to see to get that sino Hiberno twist the show's creators developed a Chinese version featuring native dancers and musician for the world's most populous country the Chinese government approached John McColgan who co-founded Riverdance with his wife Moya Doherty famous for being chairperson of RTE which is the main television company here in Ireland to devise a show that would help the country communicate with the rest of the world through Chinese music and dance the ambition for the show at the time was to do China's culture and reputation what Riverdance did for Ireland's McColgan stated now a Riverdance creative team worked with Chinese dancers book writers choreographers composers to develop the production you're about to see and we're only getting an extract of it McColgan who discussed the project with officials when he visited China alluded that that this completed project in a radio television and he also went live on a national talk show here in Ireland as well finally saying there are hundreds of dance companies in China <coughs> that are uh, either very traditional or very modern and none of them seems to have a gained traction within China and certainly not outside China China in the form of dance so him and his team went over got together Asian dances put together the dance the choreographers from Ireland everybody and the two China this is what I love about when you know we hear about wars but when you think about the arts and the culture when two big nations like China and Ireland is a big nation within its own right come together as one that's what the world should be about that's why I'm doing it I want to lift your spirits and I think it has <coughs> excuse me today I think it has a Christmassy flavor and feel about it we're coming up to Christmas 2023 so let's enjoy the spirit of Riverdance done in the Chinese style then come back I give you a little bit of bio and we'll watch an animated version but this, that that's going to have the original music just the main dance taken out of Riverdance and you will enjoy that as well 
culturally, we're going to enjoy this. And that boyish and that little girl inside will come out as we watch the animated version thereafter. Enjoy, everybody, the Chinese version of Rivet. And that, everybody, was the Chinese version of Ritter Dance. Got me going anyway. I wish I could dance like that. But trust me, I have two left legs and I would fall. But it, it's like football. People used, to, people used to say to me, play football. And I'd laugh. And I'd say, you want me to be a footballer? When they learned how, well, actually witnessed how bad I was at football, they put me in goals. I was just awful in goals. I was so bored. I, I never liked football to play, although I'd watched the finals, always the finals in football, not the lead of all of that. And when it came to river dance, I, re I did my version. Oh, in Spain when I had a few. And I was in 
a place in Batacaldo with my partner in the north of Spain and there were steps and I, try, I, I did my version with a fan. Imagine I was, I was fanning myself as I was doing this CC Europop music version drunk on steps. Ay, they were the days. I still, I still have pictures. Maybe sometime in the future I'll bring up one of those pictures. But Rivendance, that was the little bio behind that brought it to life. It was the original creators that brought that to it, through a project with China to life. And it was very successful. And it went on to inspire Chinese doing similar dances for their own traditional music as well. So the Asian version there was absolutely amazing. Congratulations to everybody involved. Now we're going on to a little bit of fun and I'm going to give you a little bit of bio because that is what this is about. This everybody is the animated version and it's the animated film of a young boy named Keegan who's been at the heart, who's been at a heart loss after his grandfather as you'll see. A well-known dancer who's passed away. He and his Spanish friend Moya go on a journey to a magical world to learn about river dance in the film as well as the dangers of the huntsman. Now when it came to the film itself, I'm just bringing up the other, it is that heartfelt loss that you'll feel watching it and it's through the danger and despair with a magical herd of spiritual deer that they get through their troubles. Because the synopsis of the film is an Irish boy, a Spanish girl, go on that journey to the mythical world of the mega, mega loser, ah, oh, mega loserous giantess, who teach them to appreciate river dance as a celebration of life. Because here it's at a funeral. The scene is taken at a funeral when the boy has lost his grandfather and his grandmother said this was his favorite way of expressing himself. And they do the river dance and this is taken the music from the original river dance that you would see live if you pay to go and do a show. This same river dance inspired a global sensation and a new music by Grammy winner Bill Whelan. So this everybody, I always say, where there's life, where there's death, there is love. Before speaking, I'm going to leave you with this and then say goodbye and I just hope you enjoyed the Riverdance Christmas treat, both live, human form, and now the animated form. But remember the important message of this particular video I'm playing. Where there's death, there is always life. And Riverdance was always about that. The life of music through the feet. So...
was a legendary dancer. He was unmatched on the hurling field. He kept our seas and towns safe. You will too. We're all counting on you to carry on his traditions. Goodbye, everybody.